Hello again YouTube, it's Mr Analytical here and I've just got a follow on video really from the one which I was querying did we all have a fault on our watches with the GPS that it wouldn't work so thank you all for your comments on that it's been really helpful and I have tried some of the things that you have suggested um, if you really want to just to have the conclusion right up front I think the GPS on the watch does work but the apps are making very bad use of it um, so someone had suggested uh, Omar Thompson had suggested that we in we could get in to GPS if you turned the Bluetooth off that it would work but as soon as I turn my Bluetooth off and go into uh, the here mapping here we go mapping you can see here if I go into here we go with Bluetooth off and GPS on it just immediately says no connection check settings if I press the tick, it asks me to connect via Bluetooth. If I say no, it won't let me go any further. So I have to connect via Bluetooth. And when I connect via Bluetooth, then it doesn't find location. Some people have said that it's taken them, you know, maybe five minutes and so on. Well, as you can see here, uh, it thinks I'm somewhere in India, I believe. I see New Delhi and so on. So... To me, that look, my geography is not good, but I think that might be India. Now, I'm indoors at the moment, but I did leave my watch in the open for five or ten minutes and just continually said this didn't find you, retry or check phone settings. So I don't think here we go maps. I'm happy to be proven wrong on that or someone to explain what I'm doing wrong. But as far as I can see, here we go doesn't work at all with standalone GPS. So... The one reason that I am saying that I think GPS does work is uh, as suggested by, let me see, someone else had said, it was a guy called T. Chiu, and he had said that in his S Health he had found that he could prove the GPS to be working. So I did try that also, so let's have a look uh, if I can find... Uh, if I go to S Health app, so you can all try this. Really, if you if you're at the point where you think your GPS isn't working, you can try this simple experiment, and it really, I think it proves probably that GPS is actually working on the watches, but it's just not working very well, or and or it doesn't work with some of the apps. So, what I done was you can go into your S Health and you can start a run or a walk. And when you've that finished, it'll show you a log. So I done that earlier on. So if you hit up on the man at the top, it brings you into these settings. So you can set target and so on. But if you scroll right down to the bottom of this list, it'll say view log. So just to show you that again, you go into S Health, browse over until you see the exercise page, which is this. So it can be walking or jogging. I've gone to light jogging, for example, press on there without hitting the start button. Uh, well, in your case, you would hit the start button and you'd go ahead and do uh, a jogging exercise and make sure you have location turned on. So you'll see there it starts the app and you'll see up in the top, if you've got your GPS turned on, you'll see that there should be a wee location thing flashing here, which will be trying to find your position. But let me just finish this workout for a second. So, yes... So when you even you do this for five minutes and just, you know, even walk, you know, in a square, 100 meter square or whatever, it doesn't have to be anything big. But then when you're finished, go into the app like this. And if you scroll, so you scroll right down to the bottom of that. So right down at the bottom, you'll see at the bottom there, it says view log. So if you press on view log, it'll give you your. That's the one I just done as a demo there. But if I just go to the previous one for one minute, 15 seconds of running. So if you select your running or your walking exercise log and it'll take you through all the stats for that log. So you've got the time, the number of calories, the far you went and so on. Average speed. That was fast, wasn't it? 1.6 miles per hour. Cadence. Heart rate. So you can see there just a point on the way down. Maximum heart rate 105, well, that's impossible because I literally got out of the car and walked around in circles and got back in. So 105 beats per minute unless I'm pretty ill.
I think it's a wee bit high, so it must have been just the watch bouncing about. So here's what I wanted to show you though. You can see here it has actually drawn a little map. So you can see it's like it did sort of track where I went. You can see I just came out and sort of walked around and back. So that's really interesting because that proves that the GPS is actually working. So while I was doing this run or this walkabout, it did track. Now it's on a it does seem to have a map. You can see there it's just obviously you can't zoom in or out on anything on that. But if you oh, if you want to do that and see if that doesn't work on your watch, then possibly GPS isn't working. But I'm still not 100% convinced that it's a true fault with the GPS hardware on the watch. I do really think that it's a software issue, as you can see here. It's working on S Health, but it won't work in the navigation. So another example of an exercise is I've done a walk also. So we just go over to the same place and go down to view log again. And we've got walking. And this was with Bluetooth on. Sorry, with Bluetooth off. So the phone or the watch was completely standalone. So there's no data available at this time. So and I'll show you the difference that makes. So you can see this time we just have a map showing where we went. And it's in a little boxed a grid area, but there's absolutely no street names or anything on there. So there's no map on there. So it's just a completely uh, in space on a white sheet, your route that you took. And another point to note is I actually started at the, and finished at the same place. So my map should have ended up, should have started here as well as ended here. But I think what happened was I went straight out from out indoors with the Bluetooth off and walked straight up here and then along and down and back round. But what I think was happening, the little location icon on the top screen, like a wee pin marker, was flashing for a while, this first part of my walk. So I think it's been flashing along here and it's got a fix at where that white dot is. So it's taken that as my start location, even though I walked from the flag to the white dot so it really the map should really be up here across and then back and so you can just really see there's a wee bit because it took a while to find my location it's lost part of the route but apart from that it does prove that the gps is actually doing something it is actually tracking it mightn't be 100 percent accurate because this path this line here was actually the same footpath as there so it should really end up and came back on the same path. But there's a wee bit of error in it. But it is working on the watch. The actual GPS hardware must be working. So it's so if you want to, you guys want to try that. There's been a lot of guys commenting. Potentially you have the LTE version of the watch. And that means that their SIM cards might be somehow giving them location or something. I'm not sure. But I, I don't think uh, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi version only is what I have. And what a lot of you have that... And we think that it doesn't work. So this is just a quick update, really. And sorry if I'm rambling on, but yeah, we're just trying to get to the bottom of this and um, to know whether or not we need to return our watches. And I really don't want to return this watch because I really do like it. And it's not something I want to do is return it because they don't even have stock of the Frontier at the moment, as it was advised by the Samsung help team. So if I return it, I'll end up getting a refund, which I don't want really because I want to have the watch on my wrist. So thanks for watching. And as usual, if you enjoyed the video, just hit a little like there. And thanks for all the comments. These have been great. And it's great to get to the bottom of this and have a bit of support in the YouTube community. And so it's Mr. Analytical and another video. Thanks very much. See you soon.